Hey guys, it's Dylan and this is Heartic Zone and today I'm going to be replacing my old fan with this new fan that I just bought. Apparently it's called a Casa. And yeah, we're going to see how this goes. Hope you guys enjoy. If you do, make sure to leave a thumbs up. Let's get started. Alright, so we start off by opening up the computer. So we're going to start off by removing this. Um, you guys might have different ones. I've got these ones here which you can open with your fingers. You may need screwdrivers, but I only need to use my fingers for this one. So that's pretty fantastic. And I've got my screwdriver kit just to get this fan off here because we've got screws there. Um, and we've got another one there. So now we're just going to take the back off of the computer. You just slide that off. It should come off pretty easily. Alright, so now we're going to be removing this fan. So there are screws on this side, on the other side of the computer, so let's just have a look at that. So you can see that there are screws there that we're going to have to take out. There's one there, one there, one there, one there, so there's four screws. We're going to take our star screwdriver and just unscrew these. They're quite thick screws. Um, you should get new ones in the box, so I'm going to be replacing these old rusted ones, so you don't need to worry about taking good care of these screws. You don't have to worry about losing them or anything because you should get these new ones in the package. I'll leave a link down in the description for you guys to download the exact, uh, download. So you guys can buy the exact same fan I've got if you guys are interested in it. It cost me 69 Rand, so that's roughly uh, about $5. So yeah, it's a pretty cheap fan and well, we'll see how good it works after installing it. So that's, almost all the screws out right all the screws are out and we can see the fan is has fallen down the fan is now there so it's a very dirty fan did the trick and now it's time for it to be replaced now let's get to the wiring all right so the wiring in this thing is pretty simple you've got this cable here which connects the fan to the computer so you're just going to take this plug off a little bit awkward to do with one hand i really need to get a tripod <laughs> Right, so it's coming out. It's out. This fan is you can take it off. And now we can get ready to put the new one on. Alright, now when you get this fan, you're gonna see that it has this little plug at the end here. Now this is to plug into the main board of the computer, which is there. And that's not where we want to plug it in. We don't want to plug it in as the CPU cooler. We actually want to plug it in to the secondary fan. So we need it to plug in here. So in the box, you will see that this also comes with it. It's an adapter to plug it into here. So to fit it, all we're going to do is this. We're going to take this right here, which came in the box, and we're going to plug it into the same port that we unplugged the last one from. So we're just going to fit that in there. And then, once we've fitted it in, sorry, I paused the video there for a second. It's a little bit awkward with one hand. Then we're going to take the, this part here, this is an adapter for the main plug to the, to the fan. So you're going to take this part here and you're going to plug it into this part of the fan. So we're just going to do it like this. Get out there a little bit. Alright, refocus. And you're going to plug this part here straight into there. So I'm going to do that and then I'll be right back. Alright, and as for this plug here on the side here, don't worry about that, that you don't need to worry about right now. So that's, don't just tie that up so that it doesn't get in the way of anything else. Now we're going to be mounting the fan into place. So we're just going to take the fan as it is, and we're going to stick it back on here where the other fan came out. So I'll do that, and then I'll be right back. Just make sure that once you're done, that no cables get in the way of this fan or your graphics card fan. Like that one there. Alright, so, right, so it's mounted in place. Great. Make sure it's the right way around when you guys put it on. And another thing, this is very, very difficult to get in the first time. These things were so, so tight. It was such a mission. Alright, but anyway, make sure that the cable's out the way of the other fans, like this one. See, mine's out the way. Um, excuse all the cable mess. This is not exactly the neatest computer in the world. I am actually saving up for a new one. Hopefully, going to get one soon. I've got to save up about 3,000 3, Rand, which is about. $200 for a new motherboard. So what I'm doing, saving up about 1,000 Rand, $100 for 
for a new PC case and then yeah I'll be styling <laughs> so yeah make sure you guys smash the thumbs up button it will really help a lot with getting me to get my computer a bit sooner and then make better quality videos for you guys because I really enjoy doing this so yeah guys please smash that thumbs up button if you can anyway let's get this thing running and see how see what it looks like all right so we're down below here where my computer lives underneath my desk and we're gonna boot it up and see what it looks like so let me hit the power on button and we can see right away the colors spring to life that thing is really shining it looks really really good wow that looks so cool I'll take a video in the dark so you guys can see what it looks like all right, all right so there's a fan looking absolutely awesome uh, yeah guys I'm so stoked with this Hopefully you're going to get some lighting around you soon as well, so multi-coloured lighting, make sure I make a video of that as well. But yeah, this thing looks great guys, I'll definitely hit a link down below where you guys can download one of them, you guys can buy one of these. And um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video, like I said guys, please smash that thumbs up button, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!